Sir. So good morning to all the judges and everyone in the audience. I would like to thank IOS Scientific Committee for providing me this opportunity. I'm Dr. Nilesh Kumar, and I'm going to uh, I'm here to present my work on validation of a smartphone-based gonio imaging technique, direct imaging of gonio mirror by a smartphone. All the presenters are requested to wait for group photo. These are my financial disclosures. I hold the patent and the commercial rights of the device used, and we have taken utmost precaution that my bias doesn't affect the outcome. Glaucoma, as we all know, is the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide and has much more higher incidence of angle closure glaucoma compared to the world in India. Uh, the only way to differentiate open and closed angle is with gonioscopy. But it is not performed in all the patients. In fact, only half of the patients visiting glaucoma clinic in US get a gonioscopy done at baseline. 80% of the junior residents are not confident doing it, while 25% of the practicing ophthalmologists who perform it are not happy with their skill. The major roadblocks include the enigma of the skill itself, the dependency on slit lamp, the lack of quality trainers, and the time it requires in busy OPD. And we don't have feasible options that can reliably go, uh, replace gonioscopy, the Van Herrick technique, the ASOCT, the uh, UBM, or even the goniopen that has come out. It is not very uh, easy to perform. So our research question was, can we find a reliable, rapid, and frugal method to classify open and closed angle glaucoma in all the situations? So we devised a smartphone-based gonio imaging technique based on the principle of indirect gonioscopy. The published article is the pilot study to validate the underlying principle which formed the basis of the present study. This technique was then refined to innovate, innovate the smartphone-based gonio imaging device, which is world's first and uh, till now only of its kind, which we call DixPro. The aim of the current study is to validate the images obtained using DixPro by correlating them with the gold standard slit lamp gonioscopy. So uh, it was a prospective single center, single mass validation studies conducted from April 2019 to March 2020. Sample size was calculated to be 222 images based on the uh, previous pilot study. With the gradable uh, image acquisition of 80%, we required 278 images. Uh, a single physician did the slit lamp gonioscopy to grade the angle. Another mass physician performed the gonio imaging using DixPro. Four mirror gonio lens, lens was used uh, for both the procedures, and one plus six smartphone uh, was used for uh, obtaining the images. So this is how the device is set up for use. We place the gonio lens in the adapter, which by design aligns centrally with the optics of the smartphone holding segment, where the smartphone is snap fit. So uh, we. we uh, screw the gonio lens, we snap the camera, and a normal camera app is used. The lens with the holder is applied uh, in normal fashion under topical anesthesia, and the patient is asked to look straight. When the patient is looking straight, the smartphone segment aligns with the center of the uh, lens adapter, and you just click using the camera flash. So it is a diffused, uh, diffused flash-based uh, imaging technique. So uh, this is, with a single click, you can obtain 360-degree uh, images if you are using a four-mirror or six-mirror gonio lens. The quality of the image was classified in, into gradable and non-gradable quality based on the criteria as ap adapted by Azad et al. Uh, for their ROP study. And a Shafas classification was used to classify open and closed angle. Uh, the physician performing the gonioscopy graded the gonio images on a later date. It was completely masked. All the identification was removed. And another graded, uh, grader also graded the images so we can have a two uh, intra-observer and intra-observer uh, uh, correlation. Uh, both the graders were having no financial interest in the device, and uh, IBM Spaces version 23 was used to calculate the Cohen's kappa coefficient. So uh, sequential images were obtained uh, for a sample size of two, 250. We attained 280 images. Out of that, 250 were of gradable quality. 55% of the patient had open angle, and 44% had uh, closed angle. The inter-observer ag agreement was 0 0.65, which sub uh, signifies a substantial agreement. And the intra-observer agreement was uh, 0 0.82, that was also a clinically substantial agreement. And even uh, we uh, targeted the uh, uh, trabecular meshwork pigmentation, and 91.6% uh, of trabecular, uh, trabecular meshwork pigmentation was correlating. So these are some sample images that we obtained during our study. Uh, angle restriction with hyphema, iridolysis cleft, a glimpse of the disc in uh, mid-dilated pupil, peripheral anterior synechia, sample line, plateau iris configuration, silicon oil, that is the pseudo-inverse -hypo, uh, hypopion, and synechias. 
So gonioscopy is an essential component of glaucoma diagnosis and determines the line of management. The current study provides a cost-effective, frugal, innovative, slit lamp independent method to classify open or closed angle that can be deployed on grassroot grass level, uh, level. It provides a clear, gradable image in 80% of the photographs obtained, obtained with sufficient details to classify the angles. Our study reveals the prevalence rate of 55% of open and 45% of the closed angle, which is uh, what the Indian population has. So uh, thank you for the opportunity. The study limitation is that is the flash-based diffuse illumination and not a uh, mid, uh, uh, minimum, minimal il illumination uh, technique. So thank you. First of all, uh, you crossed the time limit. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry. Uh, secondly, as far as I know that uh, the presentation which you are presenting here should not be published anywhere before presentation. Yes, yeah, sir, this has not been published. Sir. The, un published the, under yeah. the underlying principle, it, it was not on the device. It was just a uh, gonio lens and a smartphone. The same thing? Uh, no, sir, this, this uh, device. What is the difference between your article the in the journal and what you are presenting? Yeah, uh, it was a two-hand technique, sir, uh, where there was no alignment. The the what was in yes, the sir. journal and what you are presenting? Yes, sir, in the, the in the journal, we were just having a four-mirror gonio lens and a phone. And we were just trying to get center the Im image. There was no optical magnification involved because it was just a phone and gonio oh, lens. In the, the no, thing. sir. In the in the uh, device, there is a uh, macro lens that is involved, so we have more clear image. It is a 2x magnified, optically magnified image. Uh, the centration is well. It is a closed environment, so no external light is coming in. So there is uh, it is free from all the reflections that is from the outer source. There so are minor differences. Yes, the minor basic concept is same. Yeah, yeah. The basic underlying principle was the same. same sir. Second, the n next point is in your video you showed that you use the flash. Yes, sir. Now, as far as I know, <coughs> when yes, we sir. do gonioscopy, there are certain requirements to be followed. Yes, sir. One of them is regarding illumination. Yes, sir. Now, if you are using a flash, that yes, will sir. open up most of the angles that will not help us to differentiate angle closure and uh, open angles in certain cases. That yes, is sir. why we are doing gonioscopy yes, to sir. differentiate. Not the clear cut cases, angle yeah. recession and silicon yeah. oil, yes, these sir. things are very clear cut. Gonioscopy is very important to differentiate in some cases where you think it may be an angle closure or open angle because yes, uh, illumination broadens up the angle and you are missing angle closure. So we are. Yes, sir. We'll so, uh, missing this will give us higher open angles and yes, angle closure. So, sir, uh, can I? Uh, the the uh, this is the most call. This device has been in use for last uh, three years, and this is the most common question. The first question that I get this uh, is diffuse illumination, how it is going to work. So the pupil lag time, once we sh shine the uh, light on pupil, the reaction starts at 300 milliseconds. There is one third, uh, one third second lag between the, uh, in the pupillary action. And the flash illumination and the image, the duration that it takes is one hundredth of the second. So even before the pupil start uh, uh, const constricting, uh, this uh, this is done, and uh, we have a video proof. We uh, have devised a slow motion videography, uh, where we uh, shine the torch, uh, we, we shine the flashlight, we switch it on, and in the slow motion we can see the pupil constricting and the angle opening up. So even before the pupil reaction starts, we we click the image. That that is the practical aspect. That but theoretically yes, uh, uh, we are working on it to for the next devices where we can have an external light source where it it can be controlled and it can be minimal. But you are saying a frugal based smartphone to avoid gonioscopy. No, sir, not to avoid gonioscopy. This is just to uh, do a grassroots level screen, screening no, to why catch. Do you want to take, why do you want to do this? Because you don't want to do gonioscopy. No, sir. Uh, this is uh, when we go to go in camp. We don't have a slit lamp, and we see the patient, and then we bring the patient based on Von Herrick method or uh, by signing temporal light and see, seeing the crescent. So uh, we wanted to devise a method where we really know if it is a closed angle, a open so angle, and bring the closed the angle. Screening camp in villages. Yes, sir. We are using it. A thesis has already been accepted by DNB for the same. Sir. Gonioscopy is much more simpler than this. This is a very difficult technique. So this is just to bring the patient, to, so we can reduce the burden of uh, closed angle glaucoma. We can perform a YAC PIs. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh.